which of the following correlation coefficients would indicate the strongest relationship between anxiety and the ability to concentrate? A. R is equal to 0 0.30 B. R is equal to minus 0 0.30 C. R is equal to plus 0 0.90 D. R is equal to minus 1.30 And the correct answer is C. R is equal to plus 0 0.90 The strongest relationship is indicated by the coefficient closest to 1 or minus 1. Here R is equal to plus 0 0.90 is the strongest valid correlation. Which dash percent confidence interval will be the widest for a particular data set that includes exactly 500 cases? A. 99% B. 95% C. 90% D. None of the above And the correct answer is A. 99% a 99% confidence interval is the widest because it reflects the most uncertainty while still being confident in the result. To analyze the relationship between blood pressure and height in a sample of students, we could use a. Paired t-test B. Correlation coefficient C. Chi-squared test D. Two-sample t-test And the correct answer is B. Correlation coefficient A correlation coefficient is used to determine the strength and direction of the relationship between two continuous variables. Normal distribution curve is explained using A. Mean and sample B. Mean and median C. Median and standard deviation D. Mean and standard deviation And the correct answer is D. Mean and standard deviation A normal distribution curve is defined by its mean and standard deviation Correlation is a procedure used to determine if A. X comes before Y B. X causes Y C. X and Y are different D. X and Y vary together And the correct answer is D. X and Y vary together Correlation measures the degree to which two variables vary together Correlation does not determine casualty or order, but rather the strength and direction of their relationship. One use of a regression line is A. To determine if any x values are outliers B. To determine if any y values are outliers C. To determine if a change in x causes a change in y D. To estimate the change in y for a one unit change in x And the correct answer is D. To estimate the change in y for a one unit change in x A regression line is used to predict the change in the dependent variable y for a given change in the independent variable x. What is the effect of an outlier on the value of a correlation coefficient? A. An outlier will always decrease a correlation coefficient. 
B. An outlier will always increase a correlation coefficient. C. An outlier might either decrease or increase a correlation coefficient depending on where it is in relation to the other points. D. An outlier will have no effect on a correlation coefficient. And the correct answer is C. An outlier might either decrease or increase a correlation coefficient depending on where it is in relation to the other points. An outlier can either increase or decrease the correlation coefficient depending on its position relative to the other data points. Which of the following statements is true concerning correlation? A. A correlation is always between minus 2 and 2. A zero value indicates no clustering towards line. B. A correlation is always between minus 2 and 2. A zero value indicates all points on line. C. A correlation is always between minus 1 and 1. A zero value indicates no clustering towards line. D. A correlation is always between minus 1 and 1. A zero value indicates all points on a horizontal line. And the correct answer is D. A correlation is always between minus 1 and 1. A zero value indicates all points on a horizontal line. Correlation values range between minus 1 and 1. A zero correlation indicates that there is no linear relationship between the variables, meaning the points do not follow a pattern and could appear on a horizontal line if plotted. Past data have shown that the regression line relating the final exam score and the midterm exam score for students who take statistics from a certain professor is final exam is equal to 50 plus 0.5 into midterm. One interpretation of the slope is A. A student who scored 0 on the midterm would be predicted to score 50 on the final exam. B. A student who scored 0 on the final exam would be predicted to score 50 on the midterm exam. C. A student who scored 10 points higher than another student on the midterm would be predicted to score 5 points higher than the other student on the final exam. D. Students only receive half as much credit 0.5 for a correct answer on the final exam compared to a correct answer on the midterm exam. And the correct answer is C. A student who scored 10 points higher than another student on the midterm would be predicted to score 5 points higher than the other student on the final exam. The slope 0.5 indicates that for every 10 point increase in the midterm score, the final exam score is predicted to increase by 5 points. The correlation value falls on scale between a plus 2 to minus 2, b minus 1 to plus 1, c minus 0 0.5 to plus 0 0.5, d 0 to 1. And the correct answer is Drop your answers in the comment section below. For downloading PDF content and for latest updates, follow our Telegram channel. I have given the link in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.